and close 1092 euro in just 23 minutes and 32 seconds are you kidding me and this is my second trade right here AUD USD and the same strategy so and this is I need to close it right now here we go 27 minutes and 47 seconds we generated 35% ROI so my investment was 4k for this one and when we got out uh, 1,422 euro profit. So 35% return on your investment in less than half an hour for two trades. You just saw the second trade. So in this video, I'm going to show you, share you, and demonstrate you extremely easy to use a uh, uh, strategy that you can use on five minute charts to scout the markets. It doesn't matter what you trade, Forex, commodities, cryptos, this strategy works and it's been tested. So today is just starting for me, okay? And I already closed two trades, okay? I, I already made 20% ROI on my investment. How much did I invest this morning? Well, not this morning, just 20, just a half an hour ago, less than half an hour ago. So I reinvested 9,000, so 4K for AUD USD trade and 5K for NZD USD tra uh, trade, and 9K investment, and we got out 11.5K. So 2.5K profits in just 20, <laughs> 25, 27 minutes. So guys, uh, and, and this is not it, okay? I have uh, two more trades running right here, but these two trades was based on, uh, you know, from uh, two days ago, so this is different, okay? I'm gonna explain you these trades after this video because these two trades, you know, I use with completely different strategy. But in this video, I will explain you the uh, really, really great to use strategy that you can use right here, right now, five minute chart, two or three indicators and free chart solution, okay? So everything that you need is completely for free. Um, so let's begin, okay? Let's, I'm, I'm gonna explain this strategy, nothing new, but it will take you a little bit of time to master it, okay? There is no magic in trading, as you know, education and practice is the key, so let's begin. All right, I'm all, I'm opening another trade, you know, for AUD USD based on a strategy. I am just going to explain you right here, right now. Sorry, you know, I had to place that trade because there was another great trading opportunity. Okay, and I'm already 120, 200. Look at the profits flowing in. Look at these profits. Okay, look at these profits, and that's quite, quite, you know, insane. So let me explain you this strategy right here, right now. Um, you know, and because this is fun, you know, it's you know, easy to use. Right, the strategy. So strategy will involve two indicators and two indicators only. One will be the Bollinger Bands and the second one will be the most beloved <laughs> RSI, Relative Strength Index. So let's go to this. Let, let's, let me explain you the strategies and the basics of it. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that like button. And anybody who is willing to become successful online trader from home, and if you want to follow and copy my daily trades, you're welcome to join my academy, incommentorbox.com right here. It's the link will be below the video. Uh, this is for those who really wants to you know do uh, trading full time. Okay, right, let's go to the strategy. Okay, so the strategy involves two free indicators, free tools. Okay. This is a tradingview.com free chart solution that we use that I always use when I do my technical analysis. Click on indicators, click on uh, search for Bollinger Bands, uh, and this will be the third one from the top. Click on that, okay? And the third and the second indicator will be the RSI, which we simply uh, search for RSI and click on uh, click on right here, okay? A relative strength index is the first one on the top. Right, so why Bollinger Bands and RSI and what's uh, what's the story about them? So Bollinger Bands are one of the most common volatility indicators used, uh, you know, in the day trading and in technical analysis. The bands plot three separate lines with the outer two representing a two standard deviation range from a center line calculated using a moving average. Because the standard deviations widen or, uh, or narrow dynamically based on the securities trading range, Bollinger Bands can be very flexible and adaptive tool, okay? It's very common to combine Bollinger Bands with another famous indicator, which will be the RSI for this example. Uh, because RSI will help us confirm a trend's relative strength, okay? All right, so that's our RSI right here. How to place RSI? Again, click on indicators and search for RSI. So, the RSI is a momentum indicator that uh, compares the number of days a security closes up versus closing down over a period of time. These values are then plotted on a range from 0 to 100, okay? 
The overbought security is typically expected when the RSI returns a uh, value over 70 and oversold security is expected when the value is under 30. When the two are uh, combined, the RSI acts to either support or dispel possible price trends. For example, if a price reaches upper band of a Bollinger Band price channel and at the same time the RSI leads to 70 or plus, okay, range, the, trend, uh, the trader could make uh, the interpretation that the security is overbought. They could then sell the security in this, for example, okay, or buy a pot, put, put orders if you're an options trader, or liquidate uh, your uh, call positions, okay? For example, uh, that would be here, and we would display sell. So, right, before that, okay, we need to do some changes, okay? We need to change settings of the Bollinger Bands and we need to change settings of the RSI. Simply click on the Bollinger Bands or on the RSI. First, let's do the Bollinger Bands. Click on this settings button and the length uh, we need to change from 20 to 30, okay? 30 candles. So, 30 and standard deviation, leave it as 2. Okay, then for the styling, okay, it's really up to you, but I really don't like the background, okay, so I will I'll delete it, uh, I will delete it, uh, so, I mean, it's up, it's up to you, okay, it's just a representational tool, but it's better if we see what's happening inside the Bollinger Bands, so the background is quite useless, uh, and I see, and also other people, you know, using this style, and I, I, you know, I agree with this, background is not needed. So now you're ready. Now we need to change settings of the RSI. Click on RSI, click on this uh, settings button and again the background you can just put white uh, and then we need to s change set uh, inputs. Okay, so for the length we will uh, leave uh, as 13. I actually checked uh, others, one, others as well. I have checked um, uh, several uh, length positions. However, 13 seems to be, you know, that golden edge. So 13, click on OK. So the first condition for the strategy is we are looking for the price to touch either, to cross, sorry, either uh, top of the Bollinger Bands or the bottom of the Bollinger Bands, okay? Uh, but that's not enough, okay? But well, considerably, if it crosses the top Bollinger Band, we ex want to expect that the price is gonna go down. And if it's touching the bottom of the Bollinger Band, it's we expect that the price is gonna go up. So if it's touching the top, the price goes down and the bottom the price the price goes up but that's not it okay that's not the case uh, because as for example as we can see here the price touched uh, you know the price touched the top of the bollinger bands as you can see right here but the price still went up again touched the bollinger band and the price still went up for you know for quite some time so that's it so the indication that the uh, candlesticks are touching the top price goes down or touching the bottom price goes up that's you know come quite rubbish that's a great help but we need to use something else okay to confirm that this price really will go down or really will go up from you know after that crossover has happened so that's why we are using the uh, relative strength index so relative strength for relative strength index we're looking for the extreme breakouts okay between we're looking for a price breakout above 70 and a breakout below 30, okay? Whenever those breakouts happens, though that's our second confirmation that the price could go up or down. So let's take a look at real examples. So here we can see the price is in between Bollinger Bands. The Bollinger Bands uh, was crossed, you know, by the candlesticks many times, you know, in here as well as we can see some action in here. However, RSI, has not been crossed in here or either here. So we don't have two confirmations. If we don't have two confirmations from those two indicators, it means we don't place the trade. Here, however, we can see that uh, you know the price crossed the top of the Bollinger Bands, nice. And at the same time, we saw that the RSI was above 70 line. This was the indication that we should place and we should go for short, okay? Whenever we see the crossover, we still wait. We're looking for the reversal candle, which is this red candle. And we are waiting for, we will, at the same time, we will see, uh, you know, the RSI pointing downwards. And this is the exact position where we should enter those sell trades. 
So uh, that's sale, uh, sale trade right here. So let me just put uh, arrow right there. Now let's take a look at uh, another example, the opposite example. Let's uh, look for the buy. Okay, we can see a nice buy right here. Again, candlesticks touched the Bollinger Bands, but RSI did not break out of the bottom 30 line. Means we still wait. Here, however, the candlesticks crossed the, the bottom of the Bollinger Band, and at the same time, we see the RSI crossing the 30 line. So, when do we enter the trade? Do we enter trade immediately when we see uh, the conditions being met? No, we don't. We wait for the reversal candle, which is our trigger candle. Don't, can't you notice where is the re reversal and trigger candle in this example? Yes, this is when you see this uh, green candle developing, okay? It's not gonna be like this, boom, green candle, no. It's gonna be a small candle and it's gonna grow bigger and bigger. But whenever you see that, you know, pressure of that candlestick, see this uh, wick, you're gonna see it as being pushed up, like, that's indication that the price is reversing and price is gonna go up for a short period of time, okay? I'll always best when you place these trades to exit those trades uh, at uh, previous re resistance. Where was previous resistance? There's no questions asked, it was here, right? So if you buy here and you exit uh, your trade right here at the resistance, that would be your ideal scenario. Uh, however, it depends what you trade. You, do you trade with a CFD or a Forex or options broker? So because you can make money, you know, uh, by using any broker, make sure, but make sure that your broker doesn't uh, have so much high commissions after, you know, for every trade. Uh, however, yes, so uh, now that's what buy. So now, very, very important point, okay? The best trades, you know, and the, the best trades and the best indication that the price really go up or the best indication that the price will really continue to go down, you know, will be when we, you know, when we see the standard deviation, you know, reversal. And that will be, let me delete all of this, that will be, for example, in here, like, like here, okay? You see that the candlesticks are going down, <clears throat> okay, downward momentum, you know, down, so candlesticks are making uh, 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 lower highs, so low, 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 so lower lows, sorry, it's making lower lows, but at the same time, RSI is showing us opposite picture, RSI is actually making a higher lows, low, 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 so the RSI is going up, but the candlesticks are going down, that or, that's the best indication and those are the best trading opportunities with this strategy, because the RSI will be the one who will tell you that yes, price actually is going up from here and will go up from this particular uh, consolidation momentum, okay? Even though that it looks like the candlesticks are going down, right? But the RSI is showing us opposite picture. That opposite picture is our golden ratio position, okay? Right, recap, recap, let's put everything together and let's summarize this strategy from start to the end. So we put Bollinger Bands, we, we put RSI, Relative Strength Index, we set the settings I just showed you, okay? Then, wait for the candles to cross either top or the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. If it crosses the top, look for sell. If it crosses the bottom, look for buy. It's not enough to look for, you know, it's not enough to only to look out what's happening with the Bollinger Bands. We will need to use RSI, you know. We, will waiting, we are waiting for RSI to hit the extreme levels, okay. The extreme levels are the, you know, the 70 line and the 30 line. Buy if, at the same, if, if the RSI is below 25, and sale if the RSI is above 70, 75, respectively, okay? Uh, at the same time, make sure that the Bollinger Bands are conforming. Now, very important, wait when the strong trend ends, okay? Wait when the strong trend ends. So basically speaking, okay, if you see the, on a chart that uh, there is like, a, there was a really strong trend right here, yeah. See, if you see this, that there is a very narrow Bollinger Bands, okay? Then, uh, most likely what you will see is really wide the Bollinger Bands. If the Bollinger Bands are this wide, okay, it would be advised not to trade. 
avoid you know these because markets are very volatile and that volatility will bring you down and you it can make you losses so you can make loss for that so whenever you see too wide like this okay really really wide uh, Bollinger Bands that's indication that we should not trade okay because as you can see right here the price crossed okay and the price kept going down even though RSI was uh, you know below 20 below 30 line it still didn't go up why because it's really really strong volatility you know very very strong downward momentum how do we know by looking at the Bollinger Bands really really wide really really wide gap okay uh, re really wide so those are we so what we need to wait we need to wait as i told you important wait when the strong trend ends so simply wait when the bollinger bands are starting to stabilize again like it happened in from here onwards right so from here forward we can now again look for trading opportunities but do not trade when you see really really strong uh, up downward or upward momentum so we would avoid trading here and we would avoid uh, trading here as well. Only trade when the Bollinger Bands are in, um, you know, are, are not extremely wide. And you can see, I mean, you can actually see it, you know, by yourself. Look at, look at this, how wide is this? And uh, uh, look at this position right here, okay? So avoid, uh, so wait when the strong trend ends. Now next one, stop, uh, spot strong trends. Watch for Bollinger Bands getting wider, okay? Uh, when the price is stuck is stuck in narrow range for a long period of time, it will often cause strong momentum. Just like I showed you, if you see uh, that for a long period of time, okay, the Bollinger Bands are showing a really, really narrow momentum. For example, this is exactly here. So it was wider here. And then here, as you can see, this was the really, really narrow, the narrowest. With, as, as narrow as it goes, after that, what we usually expect is the big momentum, okay? So big volatility. That's why, you know, we need to spot that. And when, well, if you can spot that, <laughs> you will be in a winning edge, you know? You can just go out there, look at the trade, look at the technical analysis, look at the charts and just place trades and make profits all day long. That's what I see in many of my students, you know? So don't overcomplicate your trading, you know? Keep your trading simple and keep your strategy simple. This is really simple to use strategy. Once you learn it, you will, you know, it can, it can blow your mind up. Uh, so now, uh, best when the price candles makes lower low, but RSI makes higher low. Best for buy trade. This is what I just explained you a couple of minutes before. The winning ratio, golden ratio. All right, and this is the tip we just discussed, you know, earlier on. So here we go, guys. So uh, this is an extremely great strategy. So uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in, a, in a becoming a successful day trader from home, share my channel to your friends, family, beloved ones, to anybody who is willing to become a full-time trader like myself. And as usual, if you want to join my academy, uh, the link will be below the video because every single my academy member will, uh, will be able to copy all trades completely for free for life there is no monthly subscription fees so uh, here we go so and if you need help in trading you know where you can reach me email me at incommentorbox at gmail.com uh you know my email is always the same and make sure you you know check out my socials uh yeah but make sure that you understand one thing there is no magic in trading because there is no magic in trading everything comes from education you know uh, no, knowledge will make you free. Thank you for watching this video. I love you all and bye bye.